Now let us look at this question. Chondrocytes are the cells of which tissue? Chondrocytes are the cells of which tissue? Is it the cartilage, the bone, the muscle or is it the blood? So let's first look at what each one are made up of. Well, cartilage. Now see, cartilage and bone, both these are a special type of dense connective tissue. Now what do they help in? They help in protecting the organs that are inside. They provide structural framework. The bones provide a structural framework, right? They give shape to the organism. They protect the organs that are inside. They help in movement by coordinating with muscles. Where do you find cartilage? Cartilage, you'll find it here in your external. Here, the pinna, the trachea, the larynx, right? Where the bones are moving, the articulating joints. Well, what about the bones? A newborn baby, how many bones do you think it is born with? It's born with nearly about 300 bones. And by the time we are grown into adults, we are left with about 206 bones. Now, cartilage is made up of these specialized cells called as chondrocytes. Bones are made up of specialized cells called as osteocytes. Then we have muscles. Now, muscles are made up of units called as myofibrils. Let me write it for you. For the cartilage, it is chondrocytes. So this is the right answer. I'm just going to tick it, but look at the other options. Bones, it is osteocytes. Okay, so this is the wrong option. Muscles made up of myofibrils. Okay, again, this is the wrong option. Blood, I'm sure all of you know the answer. What is blood made up of? Cells such as the RBCs. Then WBC. Then you have platelets. Right. And of course, the plasma, the medium. So this again is the wrong option. The right answer is cartilage. Chondrocytes are the cells that you find in the matrix of cartilage. You can see the images of chondrocytes the chondrocyte that you find in cartilage, the bone, of course, and the blood, what the components are made up of, and the myofibrils that you find in muscles. Cartilage is a specialized connective tissue which is present at the tip of the nose, outer ear joints, the vertebral column, limbs, and hands in adults. Chondrocytes are the cells in the cartilage tissue. These cells are enclosed in small cavities within the matrix secreted by them. Bones are specialized connective tissue which is hard and non-pliable and gives a structural frame to the body. Osteocytes are the cells of the bone tissue. Muscles are an important part of the muscular tissue which plays an important role in the movement of the body. Muscles are long cylindrical fibers arranged in parallel arrays composed of myofibrils. Blood is a fluid connective tissue composed of Red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. And where do you find them? In the plasma. So the right answer is chondrocytes are found in cartilage. Let us now look at this question. You need to complete this sentence. Okay. Smooth muscle is involuntary, fusiform, non-striated, voluntary, multinucleate, cylindrical, voluntary, multinucleate, striated, Voluntary, spindle-shaped, uninucleate. Okay. Smooth, was, smooth muscles are commonly called as the involuntary muscles. They are not under our control. They can contract and relax without our control. You know, they are found in regions which is not under our control. So where do you think you find the smooth muscles? You find them in the stomach. You find them in the intestine. You find them along the arteries, the veins. You find them along the urinary system. They help in controlling or regulating some of the major vital functions in the body so that everything goes on perfectly. If the smooth muscles were not around, then bodily functions will be difficult to go on and it can become a threatening factor to the organism. The organism may not be, even, may not be able to survive also. So it is normally found lining organs that are inside, that is within, that is not within our reach which is not under our control the better way of saying it okay now how are these smooth muscles how do they look they are fusiform that means they have tapering ends okay the ends are tapering that means they are you know basically this is how they are going to look 
and they are uninucleated. That means they just have one nucleus. So this is how the smooth muscles are looking. Okay. Now what is absent in the smooth muscle that you find in the striated muscles are the striations, the stripes. Now what are these stripes? The stripes that you find in the striated muscles are basically the alternate light and dark bands because of the presence of the proteins, actin and myosin, the distribution of these proteins. That you do not find them in the smooth muscles. So what are the properties? They are involuntary, their shape is fusiform, they are uninucleate and they are non-striated. So have you got your option? It is A. Yes, A is the right answer. It is not voluntary. So B and C and D, you can immediately strike it out because it is involuntary. Let me show you a picture, image of the smooth muscle. You can see the nuclei in these muscles. Smooth muscles are involuntary as their functioning cannot be directly controlled. They are fusiform, that means they taper at both ends, uninucleated and non-striated. They are located in the walls of the internal organs such as blood vessels, intestines and stomach. Skeletal muscle tissue are multinucleated, striated and they are voluntary. Why do you think they are voluntary? Well, they are always associated with the skeleton, right? And all the bodily movements is because of the presence of these skeletal muscles which are associated with the bones. That's why they are called as skeletal muscles. Okay, for us the answer is smooth muscles are involuntary fusiform and non-striated. That is the answer. Let us now do a new question. Choose the correctly matched pair. Okay, so you have a name given and a description about it, about the name. You should see if it matches correctly. You need to choose the correct pair. The first one, tendon, specialized connective tissue. The second one, adipose tissue, dense connective tissue. Areola tissue, loose connective tissue, cartilage, loose connective tissue. Okay, one thing we know, we are talking about the connective tissue. Now, what is a connective tissue, children? As the word says, it is connecting. Okay, it could connect a, a body part to another body part, an organ to another body part. Okay, so it is connecting one tissue to another tissue. That is what you call by a connective tissue, a connective tissue. Now, this connective tissue is made up of a matrix, an extracellular matrix. Now in this matrix, you find different types of cells, the main cells being the chondrocytes. And you also find fibers, okay, other than other cells that you can find in the connective tissue. Now, connective tissue can be classified as connective tissue proper and special connective tissue. Now, connective tissue proper, Connective tissue proper can be again loose connective tissue or dense connective tissue. Now loose connective tissue you have two types they are the areola and you have the adipose connective tissue which is loose. Dense connective tissue can be dense regular and dense irregular. Okay. Then you have the specialized connective tissue. The, then you have the specialized connective tissue. The specialized connective tissue has the fluid connective tissue that is the blood and it has the bone and the cartilage. That is a specialized connective tissue. Now, when you look at dense connective tissue, the regular and irregular is based upon how the fibers are arranged. Are they arranged parallelly in a regular manner or not? So you have the tendons and the ligaments here. So you've got a broad idea about how connective tissue is classified. So now let us look at the correctly matched pair. Tendon is a specialized connective tissue? No, it is a dense, what? It's a dense regular connective tissue. What does tendon do? It connects the muscle to the bone. Adipose connective tissue is a dense connective tissue? No, I told you adipose is a loose connective tissue. Areola tissue is a loose connective tissue? Yes, this is the right answer. 
cartilage is a loose connective tissue. No, I told you cartilage is a specialized connective tissue. Now, what is cartilage? Cartilage is, you know, it is soft, it is pliable. The tip of your nose, you will find it here, your ear joints, in between your vertebrae or, you know, the bones that are moving in between that. It's like a cushion. Okay, so this is, you know, it resists compression and it is pliable, in fact. Okay, so that is again wrong. It is not a loose connective tissue. So you can see how the connective tissue is classified, loose, dense and specialized. Under loose, you have areola and the adipose tissue. Adipose tissue is where fat is stored. Under dense, you have the regular and the irregular. Tendon is coming under regular. And under specialized, you have cartilage, bone and blood. Cartilage, of course, is one of the specialized connective tissue. Areola tissues and adipose tissues are loose connective tissues in which Cells and fibers are loosely arranged in a semi-fluid ground substance. Tendon is a dense regular connective tissue. Dense connective tissue is a type of connective tissue that has completely packed fiber and fibroblasts. Fibroblasts are cells that gives rise to the fibers. Dense regular connective tissue has collagen fibers present in rows between many bundles of fibers in a regular manner. Cartilage is a specialized connective tissue tissue that is present in bones and blood and are also specialized connective tissue. So the correct answer is areola tissue is a loose connective tissue. That is the right matched pair, correctly matched pair. Now let us look at this new question. The supportive skeletal structures in the human external ears and in the nose tip are examples of what or which tissue? Is it the ligaments? The areola tissue, the bone, the cartilage. Now, what do you find at the tip of your nose or, you know, external joints of your ear, the pinna? Or let's say, you know, between bones, the long bones at the edge of it, the articulating bones where there is movement or in between the vertebrae. What do you find there? Well, you find a specialized connective tissue called as the cartilage. This is flexible, but it is tough at the same time. Right? This is what you find between the, you know, in the human ears, in the nose tip, in between the vertebrae. This is a specialized type of connective tissue. Now, as the word says, connective tissue, connective tissue connects a tissue to an organ or, you know, an organ to the other part of the body. This is what it does. So, a connective tissue is made up of an extracellular matrix in which there are some specialized cells. Okay, you have chondrocytes and then you have fibers. So you have different types of cells. Connective tissue is classified as connective tissue proper and specialized connective tissue. Under specialized connective tissue, we have the blood, which is a fluid connective tissue. We have cartilage and we have bone. Now bone is non-pliable, whereas cartilage is pliable. But under connective tissue proper, we have loose connective tissue and dense connective tissue. Loose connective tissue is made up of the areola and the adipose connective tissue. Whereas dense connective tissue is again classified into dense regular and dense irregular. Regular and irregular is based on how the collagen fibers are arranged. Okay, in a parallel regular manner or not. So you have the tendons under dense regular and of course you have the ligaments. So now let us look at the answers. Is it the ligaments? No. Is it the areola tissue? No. The bone? Definitely not. Yes, it is the cartilage. Cartilage is a specialized connective tissue that you find in the root, in the nose tip and in the external ear. So you can see the images of the cartilage, the ligament and of course the areola tissue. Cartilage is the supportive skeletal structures in the human external ears and in the nose tip. The intercellular material of cartilage is solid and pliable and resists compression. Cartilage is also present in the vertebral column, limbs and hands in adults. Areola tissue is loose connective tissue in which cells and fibers are loosely arranged in a semi-fluid ground substance. It is present below the skin and serves as a support framework for epithelium. Ligaments is a fibrous connective tissue which connects bone to bone. What connects muscle to bone? The tendon. Okay. Bone is a specialized connective tissue which forms the skeletal framework of the body. So the correct answer is cartilage. What you find in your nose tip and in your external ear, the pinna, the joints, that's where you find the cartilage.
Now let us look at a very interesting question, okay? The four images given below represent the different types of animal tissues. Which one of these is currently is correctly identified in the options given below? So I'm going to show you the images, okay? Look carefully. Let me show you the images. Now these are the four images, okay? A. You can see the images clearly. So I'm going to help you identify these images. A is nothing but the bone. When you look at the ellis of the bone, okay, you see specialized cells called as osteocytes, which you cannot see it here, but this is identified as the bone tissue. Okay, so A is the bone tissue. Now B, in fact, if you look carefully, it is a special type of striated uh, involuntary muscle. It has got the resemblance to the striated muscle, but it is involuntary and it is making up the muscle of a very important organ that is pumping blood to the rest of your body. Which one am I talking about? Yes, it is the cardiac muscle tissue. So I'm just going to write the cardiac muscle tissue. Okay, remember this children. Now this C, what you see, the C image, what you see are the collagen fibers that are arranged in a dense connective tissue. In fact, dense regular connective tissue, they are arranged parallelly. So this is the collagen fibers. And the last image is very easy. This is, you can see the cells are column-like with the nucleus at the base. What is it? It is the columnar epithelium. Okay. So let us look at the options. So A is bone, B is heart, heart that is a cardiac muscle tissue, C is collagen fibers and D is the columnar epithelium. Let us look at the options. Is it A cardiac? No, this is wrong. B bone tissue. Cardiac muscle tissue, yes. Collagen fibers and columnar epithelium, this is correct. Columnar epithelium, no, this is wrong. Collagen fibers, again, this is wrong. It is B is the right option. You can see the bone from where the tissue, you can see the various organs that are associated. Of course, the bone, you see the bone tissue and the cardiac muscle tissue, collagen fibers and the columnar epithelium. Image A is a bone tissue which is specialized connective tissue and forms a skeletal framework of the body. Image B is a cardiac muscle tissue which is also a specialized connective tissue and are present only in the heart. Image C is collagen fibers which is dense connective tissue and D is columnar epithelium which is found in the lining of stomach and intestine. So this is the right option. A was bone tissue, B was cardiac muscle tissue. C is collagen fibers and D is columnar epithelium. That is the right answer.